Greetings. This video demonstrates how to view an archive on cccconfer.org. First, you must go to the website www.cccconfer.org. Once you've done so, down at the bottom, you will notice that there are four archives you can view. You can view an archive for any meet and confer sessions, office hours, teach and confer, or webinars. Most of the time, you'll be looking at archives for a teach and confer a teach and confer session. So by clicking on the green button view archives you'll get a you'll get a, a page that will allow you to search for and look at all the archives. Most people will find the most success by searching for their instructors last name. So in this case I'm going to search for my last name and click find archives. When I've done so you will see all of the courses uh, that I have recorded and archived on CC to confer. You'll look for the date and the time. This will be a little bit confusing, but over the bottom on the right hand side, when you find the one you want, click the archive button, the archive link. Now it won't take you to the actual class yet. What it'll take you to is a, is a list of archive courses again, and that's the confusing part. But before you can do so, you must provide your name. Now this is not, the only reason you're providing this is for accounting purposes for CCC Confer. So go ahead and fill in the information and then choose from the uh, uh, organization your particular college. In this case, uh, since we're from Mount San Jacinto College, we're going to go ahead and choose Mount San Jacinto College. We're then going to click Connect. Here's the confusing part. What happens, it's now going to load all of these sessions that were recorded for that particular course. If, you're cut, if your instructor is using the reoccurring meetings function of CCC Confer, it's, this is what produces this effect. Over to the right hand side, what, what, in the middle column, you'll choose the date and time you want. And over to the right hand side, you'll click the uh, play button under the Blackboard Collaborate format. When you do so, the native playback.jnlp file will want to run. In Internet Explorer, you'll have to say open. In Firefox and Chrome, it'll download the file and you can open it there. When you open it, it runs in Java, and then Java will launch the application Blackboard Collaborate. You may have to uh, accept the application if it runs into a browser restriction. Once you've done so, Blackboard Collaborate will launch, and you'll see an interface look that looks like this. If you've already participated in a CCC Confer session, then this will not be new to you. Um, this will look like the same interface. An important point here is you usually have to wait for it to buffer a while before you can actually play it. In this case, down on the bottom, you can see where the actual file is starting to buffer. Notice the dark gray line is starting to get, well, darker. And so you can, you can, it's usually a good idea to wait for the course to buffer before you try to navigate and play through it. It just makes it easier to view. There's really not much you can do in here. Um, you can't participate in the course, obviously, because it's been archived. If the instructor had the video on, you'll see the video over here to the left. And you'll also see any screen capturing or sharing that the instructor did. And you should hear their voice. Now that this course is done buffering, I can, I'm able to play it with this button down here in the bottom left play. This particular course has been closed captioned. In the top, you'll notice a little closed caption icon. If you click on that, you will see any and all text that has been cr created by the closed caption person. This is a verbatim uh, text transcript of what was said during the class. I'm playing this for a few minutes so you can see what that looks like. Alright, so there you go. That's how you view an archive session on CCC Confirm.